Alright guys, welcome to MattNedge.com. Uh, first off, if you like offense, you're going to love this game. If you like seeing guys with really good records being taken down, you're going to like this game. And if you like uh, chess, message, chess matches, you're going to love this game. Now here's my guy, Spidey Swag. He's been running the Madden Edge scheme. And this is my, my tester profile. Um, and let's look at Spidey's stats. He's doing well. Um... He told me he'd been paying attention, and he's he's running it. He's adding his own little twist to it, but he's using the Madden Edge scheme. And just look at him. So Spidey, swag, congratulations. Um, he is going to be a Madden Edge crew member. Um, he's just perfecting his scheme. And uh, this is just letting you know that the Madden Edge scheme does work, guys. Just take a look at this guy. He's He's doing. He's putting up some offense stat, some awesome stats. In some cases, more awesomer than what I'm doing. Um, so, this is proof positive that the scheme works. Spidey swag. Congratulations. People are going to be challenging you now. So, be ready for that, buddy. Uh, let's keep talking. Let's keep dialoguing. And we have some other crew members that are doing the same thing. I'll be putting their profiles up soon. So. Uh, and I'll be putting um, Spidey Swag's uh, profile up as a crew member on the site. So, congrats again, guys. And um, in a second, we'll be getting to this game. But in the meantime, just you know, just check it out. Uh, and there we have it. I'm using the Philly. People have been wanting to use Philly, guys. And let me tell you, on my last video, I, I just said uh, I was thinking about using uh, Frisco. Uh, Philly has really made me decide maybe uh, to change my mind. Uh, they're just explosive, guys. So we'll talk to the game and see what's going on. Um, but uh, here I am trying to get an opponent with a, a winning record again. Uh, I do that so that I can let you guys know that you can beat any type of opponent with this system, uh, with any team. We did it with Cleveland, right? Um, so, can't wait to talk to this one. I just want to watch it. You know, I haven't seen it yet. Um, big plays here. And how to use Michael Vick. How to use the Eagles. So just starting out, guys, I'm going to tell you that, that that my theory on Vic is to, is to just run whatever system that you're going to run, and then if if things break down, well, here, this this guy with the Raiders, he had a good record, and then um, he backed out. I wanted to play him. But I played the Raiders three times in a row, but I'm not afraid of him. But he backs out, so I have to wait to get somebody else with a really good record. Um... Oh, back to the theory about using Vic, though. Just run your offense, uh, and if you have threats on that field, just by default, if you're hitting all all of the threats, um, and they're respecting that threat, then they're gonna leave those run lanes open, and then you can run with them. Don't don't try to run with them, um, just to run with them, because that's when you're gonna. Uh, yeah, first off, you're gonna get hurt. Uh, you're gonna fumble a lot. And, yes, yeah, sometimes you're going to get it, but if they're keying on that, you know, I mean, you're going to be running into blitzes and spies, and you're going to uh, limit your offense. And this is my second game with them. I've, I've won both with uh, Philly. Scored, I think it was 28-14 in the last one. Same type of explosive plays. Uh, the defense had, like, three or four picks in the first game. I think they had two in this one. Um, so... They're explosive on offense and defense. I'm still trying to get a guy. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I tried to play Spidey Swag. I would have played him with a, uh, a different offense, though. Come on, here we go. Alright, so I can't see that, but it's a solid record, right? <laughs> so 
let's get down to business. just click it I'm gonna actually be doing the updates on Facebook I'm gonna be letting you guys know what I'm working on like um, I'm done with Philly now but um, you know whatever team I'm working with uh, currently I'm gonna just post it on the Facebook that's another reason to join the Facebook page over there all right it started out as a chess match I do remember that much about this guy and I'll talk you through that little chess match or what I was trying to do. And when you got a backlight gore, I'm just going to automatically go to this 3D QB spy and just wait there unless he comes out in something that's not a 3, 4 wide or something. Then I'll get out. But starting out, here we go. And let's see what he does. He runs, hits the corner, so that lets me know, initially, okay, he's going to run with Gore, and why wouldn't you run if you had Gore, right? Outside linebacker on that side didn't do his job too well. Um, what am I doing here? Didn't really get to pick my play. And he runs again. Now you guys know that I respect the Niners um, offensively and defensively. I, you know, I'm actually at one point chose them, but now with the Eagles, I don't know. Looks like this guy's running both Alex and Troy Smith. I should show that play a little better. Don't worry, I'll get into playing it. And there's a 3D QB spy that shuts that down. Uh, third and two here and I'm expecting a run and I remember he comes out in play action so at this point I know okay we're up against somebody who's a little bit smart here he's passing in run situations and vice versa uh, and those kind of guys it's not see there's a nice little play action right there not um too hard to stop but what it forces you to do is it forces you to kind of guess and when you have to you know when somebody's doing that obviously you know you're going to try and play chess with them and catch them passing so I remember one time driving down here at this point and I you know on this one drive I just tried to get in his head which was kind of the wrong thing to do but also kind of the right thing to do because it lets them know that you are adjusting and that they might, you know, like if they're thinking that you're going to pass or play pass um, or play the run and then they pass and then you actually drop back into a pass D, well, then that lets them know, okay, uh, this person isn't just going to play the run um, just because I'm in a running set. And so it, it, it kind of slows them down. And so by default, I mean, if you're thinking somewhat right, you know, then you're going to catch him, right? I mean, not all the time, but, you know, just a couple times. Here's that uh, another play action, and I try to get that uh, inside blitz. That will get in. And, oh, yeah, remember, guys, on, on like the last couple of games, I haven't been blitzing because they, you know, they had just speedy threats everywhere, you know, like the last two teams I've played. Well, the Niners have Ted Ginn Jr., but, um, you know, I mean, he's got to prove it to me first because, you know, he's kind of whack in a lot of other areas. So I didn't really was I didn't really respect Gin too much. So I, I, I blissed a little bit in this game because I think that you know my guys can keep up with these guys uh, playing Gin. Then I, I expect that uh, if they're smart and if they are aware that they will back off of him 
and take the correct angle. All right, now here I was thinking, uh, obviously, now here I was thinking uh, pass. So right now we're playing cat and mouse because of the way this guy has been calling his games, right? He's been running out of pass, passing out of run. That got me into that situation where I was in a soft run D and he got seven. So as you can, oh, now here's another one though, right here. So now I'm in a safe. I'm thinking pass again. Okay. So I'm starting to figure him out. No, not him. No. Then the next one. So right there, I was wrong again, right? But because I did safe, uh, you guys remember, that is pretty good against the run because of the way that the defensive linemen flare. He's still in a run set. I'm going to do safe again, I think. What am I doing? It was either safe or cover two, but I think this is when I, it's safe. Nope. Again, watch. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to get a pick instead of trying to play D right now. And this is kind of just to let him know, dude, I know what you're up to. And he figured that out at that point right then because he didn't throw, right? Watch this play action. I'm here. See? Ah, missed the pick. Missed the pick. But letting him know that... He's not outsmarting me anymore. You got me? Now, this is a very risky way to play, but I'm doing it. So I think when you have somebody who's doing that, um, you have to do it. Um, and the reason being is because you have to let them know, and you actually you know, have to try and stop them. Here's Gin, I think. Uh, now, that's speed. Later on in the game, um, I check my defensive end speed and it's 84 uh, and I think uh, maybe I was in a, I don't know what I was in but you know there's a couple of times where he's running that little play right there and I do like a linebacker contain and you know like normally you know the linebacker contain will stop that um, especially if you have a fast end but not when the guy has, his speed is like 99 um, so there is um, a cover three, cover three press that can stop that because instead of the the, the end going out there to the flats, it's a uh, it's a linebacker who's already out there, and so it shuts it down. And I'll show you that later. So that's the adjustment there. If you know you're up against somebody with you know crazy speed, um, so good drive, chest match. I could have ended it with that pick, didn't. And he ends up getting in right. And this is McCoy, guys. Solid. Starting out. Now, what I don't want to do when using Vic is I don't want to run too many tosses. Um, because I don't want them keying on that side. Because that's the side that I might run to. And I want to hit Jackson on the outs out there, too. So I want to mix it up. I had sell it going over. Um, and when you have a guy like Vic, as I was saying earlier, uh, resist the urge to just try to run. And also with Jackson, resist the urge to try to um, <coughs> uh, hit all these great big plays. Just call your normal offense and the big plays will happen, as you will see. Here we are. Now let him. Look, that's the speed. And he's to the house, guys. So he had a linebacker on him. Um, and in that situation, dragging, you got to put a little air under it. Um, put enough power on it to lead him. And you just got to just lead him. And he's going to go get it. And nobody in the league is going to keep up with him. Um, I played Namdi. The Raiders was the game I played with these guys before. I didn't put it up because I wasn't. You know, like I say, I want to be sure that it's a sound strategy for that team before I put it up, even though I won. 